think I resemble an English horn. I like, I have bulbous on the bottom half. <laughs> bulbous. <laughs> First question. Uh-oh. Which key on the bassoon shares its name with a breakfast food? <laughs> the pancake key. <laughs> That's it. Woo! Congrats. Woo, yeah. <laughs> the Looked breakfast like taco. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, what is a dulcian? That is an early double reeded instrument from the medieval times. <laughs> wow. Well done. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a predecessor to the bassoon. It sounds amazing. It has a really great low range. Ani, what is a mandrel? <laughs> a double reeded instrument from the medieval time. <laughs> I have no idea. Honestly. Actually, I have a mandrel. Is it related with to me. a sham? <laughs> And Emily can steal. What is a mandrel? It's a reed making tool. You oh. stick the reed on it so that you can scrape on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is my mandrel. Oh, boys have mandrels too, though. So. Emily, which composer wrote the most concertos for the bassoon? Oh, I feel like everyone else got easier questions. <laughs> <laughs> they did seem to get harder as um, they went. <laughs> I'm can I get a again. hit? <laughs> it's a man. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. That wow, what a hit. That really narrows it down. <laughs> this is before the Mozart concerto, which is our most famous concerto. I think this oh, is before that. Either Vivaldi or Albanoni. One of those is it one of those. Those. <laughs> Let's do Call a fun friend. friend. I, th I thought it was Vivaldi at first. Yeah, I, same. I'm I would go for Vivaldi. Vivaldi. Okay. Vivaldi. I like the pasta sounding one. Ding 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 yeah. ding 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 ding! <laughs> Garrett, you're no help. Abalone or whatever. Abalone? 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 Ani, what is a clarinet made of? <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the information you have given me, it is made out of wood that is tinted. Um, <laughs> Yes, America. I was asked what the clarinet was made of, and I said it was tinted wood because I couldn't think of the word grenadilla on the spot. Next question. <laughs> but that wood is grenadilla wood, and it comes from Madagascar. Ooh! Whoa! Ooh. Oh, man. Showing off. <laughs> My goodness. Garrett, how does a clarinet make sound? <laughs> By blowing into the mouthpiece, and the reed vibrates against the mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, follow up question, Gare. What is a mouthpiece usually made of? Oh. Plastique. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually hard rubber. Oh, shoot. Uh huh. Yeah. You're yeah. sneaky. You're just That's sneaky. That's interesting. Emily, what is the lowest note on the clarinet? Miss Arranger. Ah, oh, shoot. Um, Which clarinet? Yeah, you're talking about your B flat or your A clarinet? It doesn't matter. On the B flat or the A clarinet, I play the same note. It just produces a different uh, okay, pitch. Okay, okay. So you're talking about the note that you play, not the concert yes. pitch. Oh, yes. shoot. Now I have to transpose. Um. <laughs> Hello, D. Uh, am I transposing wrong? I think that should count. Yeah. It's so it's, a, D. it's an low E for clarinet. But it sounds um, like a low D. Sounds a sounds a low D on B flat. Kara, how many open holes are there on the clarinet to be covered by my fingers? Oh no! How many holes? Well, let's see. I'm gonna guess six. Was I right? <laughs> seven. No. The thumb <laughs> hole. Thumb. Yeah. Oh, the thumb. The, I wasn't thinking about the thumb. All right, you got me. You got me, Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Ani, did you actually study? I can't wait for this, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, because I was trying to get in your head and I could not figure out what directions you were going to go in. Oh, I just Googled questions and found <laughs> <laughs> Kara, which founding father played the flute? <laughs> no way, is this real? Um, yeah. Of America or Canada? <laughs> America. It's gotta be Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. No, does anybody want to steal? 
George Washington? George Washington. Ding, 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 ding. Wow. <laughs> Little Georgie. Started from a young age. George. <laughs> Little boy George on his flute. Emily, who designed the modern day flute? Oof. Ah. The mechanism of the flute is, af is named after him. This is hard. You guys are giving me all the hard questions. Honestly, <laughs> most of them. Can, can I have multiple choice? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be so. Are easy. you making up names off the top of your head? Smith, Adolf Sachs, Jones, Albinoni. Okay. Oh, I need Abilone. to hear very carefully here. <laughs> um, James Galway. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Flute or <laughs> Theobald Boom. What was the Mr. first choice Flute. again? Adolf Sachs. <laughs> okay, it's the boot. It's the last one. Yeah, Boom. Boom. Yeah. Name. James Galloway uh, who, was. Who haven't I, I asked yet? Julian. Julian. Me. Where is it thought that flutes were first created? Oh my God! I know this. I studied this. Greece. No. What? No, I mean, that's an answer that would count. I mean, it's not the right one. <laughs> Where have they found, like, the earliest version of the flute? In, in this what, was, like, like 40,000 years ago. Ani, that might have been a question. Mm. Oh, sorry. <gasps> I know this. <laughs> Romania. <laughs> I think I know. Okay. Is it an Asian country? No. Oh, it's not? Oh. Is it African? No. Ani. It, what is present-day Germany? Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, it was the bone of a griffin vulture. Kara. Where do flute makers usually engrave their logo on the flute? Is it on the bottom of the head joint? Whoop, whoop, whoop. No. Uh, so I'll, I'll do them. Okay, go ahead. Well, I feel like flute head joints can vary, right? You can get a different head joint from someone else. So mm. I want to say like at the top of the body, right before the keys. Adi, adi, adi. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is a confusing question because there can be a logo like on the head joint, but typically it's somewhere else. Like on the barrel, on the barrel thing. Ding, 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 ding. Oh wait, I'm yeah. recording down here. But my flute does have a marking here, Kara, so you weren't wrong. Okay, I've got some questions here. Very nerdy questions. The first question is super nerdy and it goes to our bassoonist because they think I feel it's attacked. one of the hardest questions. <laughs> what oh are the seven major different parts of the oboe reed? Seven? <laughs> Why does your oh reed have seven parts? If you can get if you can just get three or four, that's fine too. We have like the, the cane and the wrapping. How about the staple? Yay! <laughs> The thread, Yay! the wrapping, the blades. Yeah, but, so the other parts are within the blades. Okay, basically. so okay. the tip and the heart and the spine. The channel, I mean the uh, windows. Mm -hmm. Or channels, it's called both. Okay, uh, the rails. Oh my gosh, you got <gasps> it! <Yay! laughs> I was yeah. gonna say cane. <laughs> you know, it's not too far off from what I do. It's just that I don't do windows, but I should try. That would be interesting. <laughs> That's why I figured Kara Same. had the best chance of answering that amongst the four of you. <laughs> the next question is for Julian. This is also quite difficult, but you took oboe studies as a music ed major. So on the oboe, we have a half hole here where we press a key, but we don't cover the hole. Name three notes that you play a half hole on. <laughs> there are actually quite a bit, but you can just name three. This is hard. I know. Um, um, I don't um, want to go. <laughs> okay, so um, D. Yep. Um, e. I love your air elbow. No, 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 wait. Okay, so D, e C sharp. Yes, C sharp. Okay, C. No, 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 C is like this. C sharp, D, D sharp? Yes, E flat, D sharp. Those are the three main ones. All the other ones are all high notes, but Julian, awesome. Wow. Very good. Ani, name all the instruments in the modern oboe family. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oboe. Piccolo oboe. 
<laughs> That's actually one of them. So the piccolo oboe is what? one. Oh okay, my god. I didn't even know that. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Wait, okay, so there's a piccolo oboe, there's like a regular oboe. Yeah, that's the there's an... I'm not just a regular oboe, I'm a cool oboe. <laughs> a regular. The oboe de more? Yes, that's great. Does the English horn count as an yeah. oboe? Mm-hmm. And then there's a bass oboe. A bass oboe, and there's two more, but these ones oh, are more obscure. The sham. <laughs> <laughs> the sham is actually the ancestor of the oboe, so that doesn't right. count. <laughs> the contrabass oboe. Ooh, yes, there is a contrabass oboe. I'm just making this up. Have I ever heard of this, Emily? It kind of sounds like it should be a bassoon. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> the hecklephone. Oh, yeah. Which is That's basically cool. like a bass oboe, but it's better. Apparently, I've never played it. Garrett, this is some fun <laughs> stuff for you. And it, people, feel free to help if you have any ideas. Yeah, name you see some... me struggling. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Garrett, name some non-classical music celebrities who played the oboe. I found four. Uh, so we're talking like movie stars or singers or whatever. Yeah, I'll give you a hint. Some are movie stars, a politician, and then an athlete. Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish, but no. <laughs> um, give me a hint about the like movie celebrity. They're actresses, and they both begin with the letter J. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett, call a lifeline. Uh, Kara. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence apparently played the oboe. Jennifer Ooh, Lawrence. Yeah. That's wow. right. That's right. Anybody what? Know? Okay, oh, well, actually, the Jennifer other Garner. actress. <laughs> no. <laughs> the other actress was Julia Roberts, who also ah. played the clarinet as well. Hmm. Um, she was probably really good. And then the politician <laughs> is a Canadian politician. Hint, 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 hint. From your Justin hometown. Trudeau? From hint, Winnipeg? Hint, hint. He played in the Winnipeg Symphony, apparently. He was a politician. Yes. Winnie uh, the Pooh is Jim Carr. I don't know if you know <laughs> Jimmy? Jim <laughs> and then the last one was an athlete, a football player who played for the Houston Texans. And actually there was a commercial that featured him playing the oboe and it's Chester. What? That's hilarious. Yeah. Emily's questions were hard. Here's a fun factoid. Um, Jennifer Lawrence and I were born on the exact same day. Whoa. Wow. Like and same age oboe. and everything. Yeah, Very same nice. age, same year. Garrett, the French horn is in the key of F. Which woodwind instrument is also in this key? I could play duets with it and we wouldn't have to transpose. I tried to give you an easy one, Garrett. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> the French horn. Everyone say it, everyone say it. One, two, three. English, English horn. horn. <laughs> Okay, that's like Emily and I are gonna go on the road playing duets. <laughs> I was like, Emily, you don't transpose. Emily, Mozart wrote four concertos for the horn. We're very lucky. Um, how many of them are in E flat? That's a hard question. Um, that's, that's pretty hard. Didn't you do the Mozart horn concerto, Emily? I only played one. Um, was it in E flat? No, it wasn't. It was the first one. The first and one. That, is I, in that e. one is not in E flat. So. Yes. I'm guessing it's more than one because otherwise this would not have been a question. What if it's zero? <laughs> oh, maybe it's nah, it has to be. I think that I think the second one's in, in E flat. I actually think the fourth one's in E flat too, but I'm not sure about the third one. I'm gonna say all three. That is correct. Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Wow. Interesting. wow, wow, look at her go. Okay, Julian, yeah. what is the name of the valve back here that I depressed with my thumb? Um, oh, I know. Th th that is that is the, the valve to switch sides. Yeah, but what do we call that valve? Piston Ooh, valve. <laughs> <laughs> More like a pistol valve. Piston okay, valve? Does, does anybody know what I call that? The trigger? The trigger. Gear, oh, you got it. I got it. one. Wow, you got it. Kara, the horn originally didn't have any valves, so in order to change keys, players would insert varying lengths of slides. What were these called? 
Oh my god, hell if I know. Um, <laughs> I actually thought you might know. I have a hint. Do you want a hint? Yeah, yeah. Give me a hint. Okay, the word is synonymous with the word robbers. Thief valves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they were called they were called crooks. Oh, oh no. A thief valve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was fun. Who won? And the winner is who cares? Everyone! <laughs> <laughs>